Hey guys, I'm Katie, or KB Does Art, and today what we're going to be doing is modeling um, a desk lamp. So um, you can kind of think of this like the Luxo Junior lamp from Pixar. Um, I'm not like specifically using that as a reference, but we're going for something similar to that. So go ahead and create a cylinder, and then I'm going to make my height a bit smaller. So maybe just maybe just point five, and then let's make that radius. Actually, let's make that radius 2. And then um, 20 is good for those subdivision um, axes. And then let's go ahead and select these faces. Let's extrude. And we're going to offset them in to probably about 1.5. Then you can extrude and thicken those guys up to about 0.5 as well. So this is just going to be kind of like our base. So next thing that we need to do is take this inner edge right here and click W and just move it up to about there. I want to try and get it to be a little bit more round. And then what's going to be coming out of this guy is going to be like um, a couple of long cylinders. Let's go ahead and select these top faces. And then let's go ahead and move them up to about there. Then extrude those guys and offset them in to about 0.2. Alright, so these faces we're going to extrude and then just bring them on up. Most likely I'm going to end up kind of like moving them like that. That way we get a little bit of bend in our thing. And then next thing you're going to do is extrude and just push that up again and maybe push it a little bit over. Then extrude again, push that up, and then you can actually rotate those top faces, push it a little bit more, and then let's rotate it a little bit more. That way we can push it over and down. Basically you're just trying to get it to look accurate to a point where you can kind of like connect it to a top piece. So I think probably about there might be good. You want to try and get them pretty even. Go ahead and select those faces and extrude them and then up their thickness to like 0.1 maybe. It's kind of like the little intersection. We'll end up probably beveling that guy as well. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is creating this little top portion. So this top portion basically consists of half a sphere and a cylinder. So let's first create the cylinder and then let's just move it on up here. And we're going to actually shrink it down quite a bit. So let's probably do about there. Press E, let's rotate it so that it's facing the way we want it to face. And then let's just push it in a bit so that it is attached to that guy. So hopefully you can kind of see what I'm going for here. Next thing you're going to do is make a sphere. And so this sphere is going to be the part that we make the lamp. So um, you can go ahead and scale that guy up a little bit. And then you're going to want to rotate it to the best of your ability to be at like that halfway point kind of for that guy. Because what we're going to end up doing is actually selecting half of the faces and then pushing them into the mesh. So let's go ahead and just start by simply selecting rings of faces. So I'm just going to go ahead and hold down tab and just start selecting um, just some rings of faces. Okay. 
You can also hold shift and double click. You have to click one and then double click the next basically. So hold shift, click one, double click. Just like that. All right, I think one more should be good. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to extrude, offset that in, and then click W. And then you wanna change, hold W and left click, and then go to object instead of world. Now we can press these guys into the mesh like that. And then you are going to want to click R and most likely scale them in a bit so that you can press them in a bit more. The thing is that you don't want it to go through the mesh. So as long as it doesn't go through it, you should be all good. Go ahead, let's scale it up a bit. All right, let's move it back to here and then extrude again, click R and scale it down even more and then press it into the mesh. I'm trying to basically just use this as like my light bulb. So let's extrude that again, click R, scale it in some more, click W and press it back into the mesh. All right. Now let's go ahead and go into face mode. Select these faces. All of these rings. Getting these guys last. And then go ahead and click extrude and just bring it on out. All right, so now we've got our little uh, lamp, basically with a little light bulb inside. And so um, really all we need to do now is I'm gonna add a small sphere on the back of here just to be like kind of a little detail. Um, and then we'll add a button on the bottom and then we'll bevel some edges and that's basically it for this mesh, so. Pretty simple. There we go. And then let's go ahead and select this edge and control B for beveling it. Give it two segments. And then let's bevel this guy on the inside as well and give it two segments. And then you can bevel a couple of the other edges on the inside. That way it just looks a little bit more um, clean. All right, there we go. So for this cylinder, let's go ahead and select this guy, select those edges, and we'll bevel that edge with a pretty small fraction, maybe like that. And then I also would really love if we could bevel this guy. So let's hide this guy by doing control H and then let's bevel this edge. All right, and then you can click that and do shift H to unhide it. That way it's right there. All right, looks good. So now we just need to go ahead and do those guys. So let's select these guys, do control H to hide them. And then let's just go through and select all of the edges that we need to bevel for this. There's gonna be quite a couple. <laughs> we did a lot to this. So select all those guys. And when you've got them all, you can do control B Let's go ahead and do two segments, and then I'm gonna do pretty tight fractions, so pretty small. 
um, you can see how it'll kind of change your mesh a bit. There we go. All right, and then you can click three to kind of smooth that all out. And then you can select those guys in your outliner and do shift H. So looking at it, I feel like this isn't big enough. So let's just select those guys and scale them up. And then you can select each component and move them as needed. So I'm pretty sure like this guy needs to be moved down a bit. Same with that. Maybe up a smidge. And then this guy, I feel like can actually be scaled in and then pushed up and over. All right, there we go. So um, the last thing we're going to be adding is a button. So just go ahead and make a cylinder and then scale it down a lot. Let's push it up and over here. And then Let's see, go ahead and push it into the mesh. Then you're gonna tilt it toward yourself. Then go ahead and do extrude. Oh, then go ahead and select those top faces and do extrude and offset them in by like 0.1 and then extrude. And let's thicken those guys up, maybe like 0.15. And then let's go ahead and bevel those edges. And we'll give it two segments, pretty small fraction. All right, so now we've got a little button in it. So um, now what you can do is you can just select um, all of those guys and do mesh combine so that they are all one object now um, And that's basically it. So that was just a quick little tutorial on how to make a cute little desk lamp I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I'll see you guys next time for what we're creating next. Bye guys